well hello there welcome back to my channel and in this video what we are gonna see is how we are going to send data from a LoRa endpoint or LoRa node to the LoRa gateway and ultimately to the MQTT broker for this video we are gonna use an Arduino Uno which I'm having it here and a LoRa Dragino shield which I'm having it over here now what you need to do is connect these two devices by simply mounting the LoRa shield on top of the Arduino Uno, plug in the USB cable and then you are good to go. All the uh, devices that I am using throughout the video series, the links are pasted in the description such that you can buy it from your area locally. And um, a point to note that I strongly recommend that you watch my previous video on LoRa uh, introduction such that it will be clearer for you to understand what LoRa is all about and why it is even used. In this video, we are simply going to send the data using the Arduino framework to the MQTT broker using a LoRa modulation technique. Now, let's see how it is done. So, to send your uh, information or data packet from your LoRa end node to your LoRa gateway, what we are going to do is simply program our Arduino device to communicate or to interact with the LoRa shield and then set the required packet data information. So for sending the packet, um, we are going to use two libraries. One is the SPI.h, which is used for communication between your um, the Arduino board and your LoRa shield. And we are going to use LoRa.h. So SPI is available as a default uh, library sub, uh, I mean supplied by the I Arduino framework but for LoRa.h you need to include it explicitly so to do that we are gonna uh, click on sketch click on include library click on manage libraries once your library manager pops up and once it has indexed all of the updated libraries I mean installed libraries we are just gonna type LoRa and once it has indexed we are looking for a specific version yeah we are looking for this one LoRa by Sandeep Mystery version 0 0.7.0 obviously you can select a higher version if you want we are gonna install this particular dependency this is required for your Arduino board to interact with your LoRa node by using serial program interface or SPI uh, like right now my uh, I mean right now the library is already installed so I'm getting an update option otherwise you should get something like an install option here just click on it and you should be good to go so once you have installed the library and the required dependencies then we are good to go with the programming part well firstly we need to uh, declare our device id which in this case is 112 so this device id has to be similar um, in which i mean the device id has to be same which has been configured to your gateway so my gateway uh, in my in the gateway that i am using that uh, in we need to manually add these device IDs for communication but in some gateways this happens in an autonomous process as well uh, once we have declared the device ID and I have set a count variable to zero just to keep a track on the number of data that that is being sent from the LoRa endpoint in void setup we initially start the serial port communication which is in serial.begin and we use this LoRa, which is a part of the LoRa library, LoRa.begin. Begin is a method, and as a parameter, you need to send a frequency. Your board has to communicate. So since I am located in India, so I'm gonna use 867 megahertz channel, um, of the frequency band. So E6 uh, means that it just appends whatever we write here, that is 867 sorry for that yeah it appends six zeros after whatever we mentioned here you can also simply replace e6 with six zeros but 
we have used this notation next we use uh, serial dot uh, print just to I mean if this connection is not success I mean if it is not successful it will print that the LoRa has failed to um, to start or to initialize and this process this part will continue until and unless the LoRa connection has been established and that is being done by the LoRa dot begin in line number 17 we use LoRa dot set sync word it is just a way to tell the LoRa gateway from a LoRa node that I am transmitting information or I am uh, paired up with you so this is a kind of a sync word in the gateway also we have mentioned this sync word and this sync word is pretty much uh, same for all the devices which are connected to a particular gateway um, one thing I forgot to mention is that this device ID so device ID has to be unique so there are two ways either you can get um, the like a, the chip ID or you can get a serial number or you can simply hard code any kind of um, device ID that you want but it has to be unique across all LoRa nodes or LoRa endpoints in void loop what we have done is that we have used again the LoRa class and we have used the function begin packet so it signifies that I am starting to send a LoRa packet now every LoRa packet has to be encoded with the device ID and the device ID happens to be in uh, I mean enclosed within greater than and less than sign so it will be like greater than sign device ID followed by less than sign so to send this packet we use LoRa.print and we form the required message structure next we use LoRa.println to just to print in the next line for the data packet what I'm sending is a message LoRa demo so this message will be encoded with my device ID and as a whole like from line number 25 to line number 28 whatever the messages we have encoded within the program uh, will be sent to the LoRa gateway from my LoRa node and to make sure that it the packet has ended or we don't want to send any additional information at the end of the packet we are just gonna mention LoRa dot end packet and within parenthesis we are going to I mean as a parameter we are going to pass true once this is done so th that's it it's very simple it's it's as simple as it looks so just for the recap we use LoRa dot begin packet encode our device ID within greater than and less than sign then we send our required packet data information which is uh, using LoRa dot print again like whatever information we need to send we can even send a JSON string out here which will contain sensor information and finally we mark it as an end packet and within bracket we pass it as true we may we simply increment the count variable and we have put up a delay of five seconds ideally when you are working with LoRa uh, make sure that a delay is at least five seconds or the gateway may prove a bit difficult in um, uh, like uh, forwarding those packets to the required IoT server so now let's burn this program to our board and see how it works so I'm gonna upload to my Arduino board once the uploading is complete um, let's just wait for a couple of seconds Okay, once uploading is complete I am gonna open the serial monitor and on another side I'm gonna open my MQTT broker why MQTT broker because whatever information I am sending from the LoRa node to a LoRa gateway I have configured it to send all this information to my MQTT broker so I'm gonna add a new topic subscription which is hello slash LoRa slash Avidu this is the topic in which the LoRa gateway is publishing all the messages I click on subscribe and I bring up the serial port serial mode on one side and you can see I am getting all these messages from my LoRa node to the LoRa gateway and from the LoRa gateway 
to the uh, MQTT broker here um, you can see like there is a slight lag because these gateways are not I mean the gateway that I'm using right now is not meant for commercial use um, it's just a prototyping gateway it's a low-cost version so there is a lag which is quite acceptable because it's quite cheap compared to the commercial gateways that are available in the market so that's it that's it's a very simple way to send data from your LoRa endpoint or LoRa node to your LoRa gateway well now that we have seen that how do we send information or data from a LoRa node to the LoRa endpoint in the next video what we are gonna find out or what we are gonna study is some detailed information about LoRa gateway and how does LoRa gateways work um, we are also gonna do a a kind of an analysis like what gateway to use in what kind of project scenarios such that you will be well aware of selecting what gateways you are going to use when it comes to your own project till then um, stay safe stay in your home and uh, maintain social distancing as you know like currently the global pandemic is going on for uh, COVID-19 and today's date is uh, 5th of April 2020 and the number of infected cases has already crossed a million globally so just to ease out the battles fought by the health workers in the front line we as individuals can can only stay at home and make sure that we don't get infected till then stay at your home stay safe and uh, we'll meet you soon in the next video